uh, these are like a representative of the NGOs and uh, also the the party lah, uh, who are part of the committee. So uh, there's about uh, eight or nine of us in the committee. Okay, um, thanks for coming. We we basically want to say, uh, and it's nice to be here in the town Padang. We basically want to say that we will, uh, we the committee has decided that we will have all that the Himpunan uh, May Day um, in in the, the in KK lah, in the Padang Merdeka. Um, we are appealing to and calling on uh, the rakyat, the ordinary people who have issues uh, to come forward and. And join us uh, on May Day. It's only from 3 to 5 p.m. So it's a two-hour. We look at it like a carnival. You know, uh, people will come. They will uh, bring their banners and uh, basically uh, talk about the issues. Um, but at the same time, the, they will make a statement of uh, what what is important uh, in terms of the different issues for them. So um, we have issued earlier statements, and I think you have uh, been updated on that. Uh, today we just want to say, you know, this is a beautiful padang. We want to look at it, where, uh, and we still want to hope. We are still hoping that the authorities will allow us to use uh, the padang inside here itself. Uh, with the ten days that uh, we have told the police. The, uh, the notice, uh, we have sent them the notice much earlier, 8th, 8th of um, March, uh, sorry, 8th of April, and they have already received it. Um, unfortunately, the DBKK have um, refused us a padang. They said that it is um, it's a government, uh, only the government is allowed to use the padang, and so did not reappeal. Uh, we even asked, uh, we sent a letter to uh, the Chief Minister because uh, based on the reply from the DPKK, they said it's because the, the, uh, it is an order from uh, the Cabinet that uh, has uh, you know, the basis for their refusal for us to use it. So now we are in this position, um, we still we have talked to the police. And uh, yeah, uh, we we are we are waiting. We're still hoping that uh, nothing uh, will stop us from being used uh, using this place. Um, of course, um, the police yesterday have uh, when we talked to them yesterday have said that you know this uh, it has to be the basis for them to to do that. But in my opinion, it is not the police uh, the. It is the police, the Ketua Police Daerah, or you mean the uh, KK OCPD, who can make a decision. You know, he can say that uh, yes, uh, he can uh, regulate the traffic. That's their work, you know. Um, but then we are uh, waiting in terms of whether, well, the DBKK, the Chief Minister, will give his answer. Yeah, thanks. Maybe my other <laughs> friends. Just want to add. As citizens of this country and as residents of Kota Kinabalu, we have all the rights to use this facility. This is a public domain. So there's no reason to try to stop us from exercising our rights. This is civil societies. We are a, a group composing with different NGOs and, and the CSOs. So we, what we are doing is something legitimate and part of the political process, part of the democratic process, and we have issues that we really need to address in this country. And I think this is a great opportunity for us, and the authorities, the government, whoever is in charge, should look at it in a positive way. And this is how we feel about that. Uh. Uh, di peringkat kami anak muda, anak muda Sabah, kami merasakan himpunan ini perlu untuk kita hadiri terutama anak muda dan kami bersama-sama bersih dalam penganjuran ini untuk terus menggerakkan, gerak, menggerakkan rakyat, mendepankan isu, terutamanya banyak-banyak isu 
yang yang berlaku sekarang lagi-lagi melibatkan anak muda iaitu uh, GST kita akan kemukakan pada hari ini dan saya rasa 1 Mei merupakan satu pes, hari pesta ya. kepada semua rakyat sesiapa berhak untuk turun dan di peringkat kami anak muda kami yakin bahawa polis adalah profesional kita anggap polis profesional dan polis mampu membantu untuk mengawal keadaan dan memberi memberi keadaan yang selesa, selesa dan aman dan kita pastikan perhimpunan ini adalah aman bagi kita, kita adalah aman, kita datang dengan aman dan kita bersurai dengan aman itu saja lah daripada dan sekali lagi ujungnya, akhirnya saya selaku wakil anak muda saya mengajak seluruh anak muda Sabah turun perhimpunan ini untuk kita sama-sama menyatakan kepada pemerintah kepada orang berkaitan tentang kita punya hak terhadap kerajaan itu sendiri. Terima kasih.